Okay, good day again. Right, been burned the stump. Uh, so it's up this tree. I've also, there's about another six foot of that. Um, yeah, trunk missing and actually come out quite a bit wider than that at the base. Uh, as you can probably actually see you know, from the line it came you know, right down. Out around here it was quite large. Now yeah, I started off um, putting a cut right through the centre of it with a chainsaw which got fairly easy in the middle, it was quite rotted in the middle and then I put a cross cut back across the other way I cut a little piece out of one end, started the fire on it and worked the fire into the centre of it Yeah, it's been going for oh, three days now and fortunately, you know, like overnight it's, it's sort of gone out but there's been a little pocket still smouldering so I've been able to you know, restack it and continue the burn. Now what I actually wanted to show you in the point of this video yeah, last night when I got home and it had been raining during the day it was already dark by the time I got out here and we still had a bit of smoulder happening just in here so I stacked it up with some wood and uh, actually stacked quite a bit of wood on it because I'm standing out here and it's winter so I built it up so I could actually get a little bit warm and uh, but anyway there was a considerable fire burning on top of that and that piece or this piece I should say was about the same thickness as what's left over here so it's not you know a great amount of wood and it only burn away you know, probably not even half of it you know through having a, a fairly large fire on it all night um, it did rain again in the early hours of the morning that probably yeah, even though it was only light it would have sort of finished it off but I wanted to show you the reason why that didn't burn just here and it's not really coming up that well on the camera here is a very large root and it's the same over there this is why this stump this part of the stump didn't continue to burn from when the the fire was in the inside of it is there is another big root to see you can actually see this root continuing on down here yeah what happens when it gets hot and the steam or the moisture steams out of it but because you know, as it goes out it's just drawing more water up through the root system from the ground you've got this continuous moisture coming in the wood which you know, stops it drying out and burning so, uh, now around here, and I should actually have done that, I knew that root was there last night, but I was just sort of hopeful that it would at least burn this end of it, but it didn't. No. Anyway, it was, there's another root just here, which is pretty much below the ground level. This one I actually put a cut through with the chainsaw because I'd already dug it away a bit. And yeah, it burned all of that, that away as well. So, what I did, I come out with my drill this morning, cordless drill. And I started here, drilled a hole that's uh, 10 inches deep. Another one above it. I've drilled two around this side, and I've drilled another three in this side. Now, the uh, the wood that was coming out of that drill hole, the 
was quite wet, it was quite warm too, it was steaming. Uh, so having created an outlet for the steam, for the moisture to get out of, and also a breather so that when the when the fire does get into where those the base of those holes, it can supply oxygen down into it. Uh, yeah, so if you're having an issue with burning a stump, it's just something to think about is that these roots are continuously drawing moisture up into it and slowing it down. So, yeah, you can either do it with a drill, the drill's pretty slow and, and you, you run out of battery, because I'm out in the paddock, so I run out of battery power fairly quick, it's hard going. But you can put cuts in them with a chainsaw, but you know, don't use a good blade, use an old worn blade, because even when you clear the dirt away, there's still seems to be dirt around. But, uh, you know, I've noticed that even if you don't hit the ground, you'll still blunt in your chains. Yeah, cutting into the base of stumps. Anyway, hope that's helpful. I expect this knobby year will be burnt away by the end of the day. It's you know, the wood that I put on it was what hadn't burnt. So it should catch on, it should be dry enough to catch on, but it's still only smouldering as yet. But smouldering is not a bad thing anyway, so with a stump. Okay, there you go.